The real numbers. What are the real numbers? So like that one show on MTV? Do we take all the numbers and we put them in a house? See how they interact with each other? Somewhat. That's the real world. These are the real numbers. I need you to do something for me. Can you count for me? Go ahead, count for me. No, seriously, I know you're just sitting there watching. Count. Count. Yeah, that's right. You went, you went, you went. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you started at one, then you went to two, then you went to three, then you went to four. I asked you to count and you naturally went one, two, three, four. These are the natural numbers. Great. Um, what are those little dots mean? Yeah, it means it keeps on going. It goes on forever, forever, ever. Do you know what those dots are called? called ellipses. <clears throat> sure, whatever. So I asked you to count. You went one, two, three, four. Are those the only numbers in the entire world? No, man. There's one number that's not positive and not negative. We need to have this idea of nothing. Yeah? Sure. What I want to do is I want to take zero and I want to add it to the natural numbers. One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. When I add zero to the natural numbers, we call these the whole numbers. Yeah, because I took the natural numbers and I added a whole to it. Whole? Whole. Whole? Whole. Whole? Whole. whole. Yeah, works just like that. Whole? Whole. Those are the whole numbers. Okay. Are those the only numbers in the entire world? No, man, anybody have a credit card? Yeah, we need a way to represent debt. Yee, not good. But yeah, so we want to represent debt. Um, how you gonna go and do that, huh, huh? Oh, what if you owe somebody? We need the idea of negative numbers. Yeah, the positive and negative counting numbers. We're gonna take the whole numbers. One, two, three, ah, ah, ah. And we're going to add the negative counting numbers on them. Minus one, minus two, minus three. And then it keeps on going in that direction also. Sure. These guys, these are the integers. Now are those the only numbers in the entire world? No, man. Um, I need something in between. 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 Zero and one. Are there any numbers in between zero and one? <laughs> yeah, like 0.5. Let's not go with the decimal representation. If something that can be written as a, a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal, then it can also be written as a fraction. So I'm gonna throw in some fractions. I'm gonna throw in some fractions. Uh, what's in between zero and one? Hmm, yeah, maybe half. For sure, for sure. Oh, there's more. What's in between zero and half? A fourth? What's in between zero and a fourth? An eighth? What's in between an eighth and zero? A sixteenth? And then it keeps on going down like that, huh? Sure. Um, those aren't the only numbers, right? There's numbers in between half and one. Like, um, say, two-thirds. That's in there. Um, does this ever stop? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. How many numbers are in between zero and one? There's an infinite number of numbers in between zero and one. When I add in these fractions, these are the rational numbers. The rational number. A rational number is a number that can be written as the quotient of P over Q, where P and Q are integers.
I'll write that. P over Q. I have even seen some books say that P or that Q is a natural number and P is an integer. Okay, whatever. It's not just the numbers in between zero. It's all the fractions in between one and two also. Something like three halves is in there. And then it keeps on going that way forever. And then all your negative fractions too. Minus a half. And there's a bunch in between here. Yeah. And minus one. Fun. And then it keeps going on back down that way. All of those together. Those are the rational numbers. Are those the only numbers in the entire world? No, man. There's more. We have numbers that can't be written as natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, or fractions. These fractions don't make much sense. They're non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. Some of them are represented by series. Um, a couple such examples of these, a couple such examples of these are, um, what do you say? Pi, for sure. Pi's over here. Pi, um, E, E, that's a non-terminating decimal. What is that? 2.1 some, 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 some. That's what, 3.1415 some, 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 some. What about, what about, what about? <laughs> yeah. Square root two. What about square root two? Root two. Funny story. That's the nickname of my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> she kind of gave it to herself, right? You know why? Because like these numbers, she was irrational. Sure. Nickname of the ex-girlfriend. Now, are there only just a couple of these irrational numbers? No. Because square root 2 is irrational. Square root 3 is irrational. Square root 5 is irrational. Square root 7 is irrational. Square root 11 is irrational. <sighs> Are there a limit on the number of primes? No, there's an infinite number of primes. And all of them are irrational. So there's an infinite number of irrational numbers too. Irrational numbers are the numbers that cannot be written as a rational number, the quotient of two integers. Yeah, their decimals go on forever. Never stop, never repeat. Now when you take all of these and you put them in a house, that's the real number.